Hi there, welcome to Whispering Pines Farms YouTube channel. My name is Jennifer Johnson and I raise sheep for their wool. This video is going to be me skirting a used fleece from our flock. Her name is Despina. And it, this video is one of a series of videos where I'm going to be skirting fleeces from the sheep in our flock for putting them into my auction, my 2024 auction, which will start June 22nd and run through till June 29th. And I have all these details on the website where I've got, I've got links in the description and everything. So Despina is a two-year-old fawn cat mugget. She's got a spinning fineness of 20.9. And I was reflecting on her when I was getting the weight and writing up the card and looking up her information. I remember that I, I rude the first half of her with a lot of success it went really well but the second time i had her on the stand she just changed and she was really mad at me didn't want to be there and so i ended up i had to call rich out to help me i was holding her in the stand while he was clipping the balance of her fleece off so, I don't know what happened. It's like I said, she was perfectly okay with me and the whole process. But we'll see when I flip the fleece over the section of it that we ended up cutting with scissors. And when we did that, we were very careful to ensure that we were cutting it at the rise rather than trying to go right down to her skin. So the result is, you know, she looks a little shaggy and weird, but the fleece is what you would want it to be. And normally I don't need to skirt my rude fleeces because I rue the scrap wool that's going to go into comb top before I start working on the wool under the coat. But it looks like a little bit needs to come off here as I'm just examining it. It's really not bad. I mean, I would, if it were me processing this, I would leave it. However, it's going to a hand spinner who is expecting an extremely clean, and well they should, an extremely clean, low VM, you know, ready to spin fleece. So I'm actually gonna take quite a lot off of this here because I don't like any of this. This might be where she started to kick up a fuss. <laughs> That's the other problem. But my biggest concern when they start to act up in the stand is that they're going to hurt themselves because they rear up and they do all sorts of crazy stuff. Many sheep are fine. They're up there and they're chill, but some sheep just hate it. <laughs> I thought I saw something over here I didn't like. Well, definitely not that. So in other skirting videos, I would flash over to the nursery, to the side, where, where the sheep have been keeping me company during the days because I was, the lambs were over there until they, you know, they, I don't know, I just leave them there for a little bit, a couple weeks after lambing just to give them a chance to get their legs and whatever. But they're now out with the main flock all day. So right now, they are out on the pasture. Actually, we can take a look over there and see how they're doing. They are um, with their moms, obviously. And all the mothers have done a really good job keeping track of their lambs. Oh, there's the boys right there. So they're all out there. So, I, you know, it's kind of a bummer because it was fun having them right next to me when I was working, but you yeah, they grow up and I, it's taken me a long time to get these fleeces skirted and videoed for you guys. So that's where we are. All right. So Despina, this beautiful fleece, really nice, good staple length, I think. I'm going to take a picture 
of the fleece first. And then we're going to grab a lock. Grabbing it from where I take the micron sample, fifth rib in between the back and the belly, just right in the center there. We want to pick it from the same spot every time, so we've got a standard location. It's not going to have any effect based on, you know, is it closer to the neck or more of the bridge. This is really nice. So I have both Despina and her sister Minnie on my sale list. Sheep for sale, I mean, not auction. And uh, it's really, I'm really struggling. Although there's really nobody anymore that I'd like to sell in the flock, but I need to make room for some of these new ewe lambs. All right, so that's a four inch staple. Really pretty. So Despina is fawn, and her sister Minnie is gray, and they're both cat nuggets. So it's a nice. A little set of twins there. And somebody's asked me, do siblings stay close like mothers and lambs do? Because I've got a couple set of mother lambs, mothers and daughters, where the daughter is like two or three, and you still see them, you know, hunkered together. But the siblings, not so much. They're, once they uh, leave the nest, it's pretty much... Uh, you're on your own, sister. So yeah, so I don't really see a bond or anything with sisters. All right, so let's take a look at the bottom of the fleece, the back side. So this is the side that's next to the skin, and you can see where I've rooted it. There's these nice little puffs where, as, as I grab the fleece off, right, it just kind of springs and makes these little puffiness. Another really pretty fleece, kind of like, Dina is where we've got a nice pile of variation. This one has a slightly longer staple length, so I think it would be a lot easier to flick. I would definitely flick this one. But here you can see where things went south with my little... It was such a bummer because it just looked so nice. But this whole section is cut with the scissors. But I guess, like I said, I really made sure to cut it so that you weren't going to get any weak spots or pills. There's no second cuts there. So it's all done by hand. <laughs> I'm going to take a photo of that just so we have it for full disclosure. And then we'll grab a picture of the entire fleece. Get my hand rag out of there. Yeah, so there's the spina. So let's, I'm going to get a weight because I did pull off a little bit of wool. So I'm going to reweigh it and put her up on the shelf. See, I think she's got a little bit more stuff because like when she was kicking up, I think she was kicking up like a little bit of stuff from her feet. So there's going to be like loose bits of VM in this one. Nothing catastrophic, nothing that's going to cause you a bunch of trauma as you're flicking or combing it. She's had, I think she was like the, oh no, I was going to say she was the worst one, but now I'm remembering I rude Tosca, <laughs> Tobia, her white you, Tosca was biting me. <laughs> she, yeah. she really hated it. She did okay with the ruining part, but anytime I put my hand close to her face, she was trying to bite me. So now I guess when people ask, you know, they'll come to the farm to see the sheep. And they'll say, you know, does sheep bite? I used to always say, no, they only have one row of teeth, you know. But now I have to say, yeah, I have a you that bites. <laughs> I gotta say, a little bit of me loved it, though. Just like how sassy she was. Like, she's not going along with it. I don't care. <laughs> it's funny how they're all, they all have their own personalities. All right, we're going to get a weight on this, a final weight. 24.9. This is a really nice one. That caught my eye. No, I took off quite a bit. It started at 27.5 minus, so it's now at 24.90. Oh. 
But I like this fleece and I'm now really reconsidering her being on the sales list, but I can't keep them all. They're all really nice. Okay, all right, so that's Despina. Let's get her up on the shop. Actually, she's gonna go on the bottom, so I'll go ahead and do that after. We close out the video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can come back soon.